Hey guys, today I'm doing, let me see if I can get all of them in frame. There you go, Bella song collection video. My room's kind of a mess. Remember that, I got some snacks. This I'm probably gonna be talking about, I'm probably gonna be talking about all these for a while, so. I mean, buck one, I guess. Least expensive to most. Um, I'll tell you guys what ones are clones right now. This one, and then like these weirdos over here, obviously. Um, <clears throat> yeah. I start over here with the second worst bell song here and I do think price really does show because platinum did not uh did not pull through here to be honest like that's annoying um but I'm probably gonna be talking about like these beginning ones is probably the least. Um this one is Uber handle biased um and locks up and isn't fun and doesn't really do any tricks that well. So there's that I just don't like don't like this one and i'm gonna do the paper thing basically um should i say yeah i'll, do, I'll just copy this whole format um you can get that off of flytanium flytanium uh, i do not recommend it though the next thing i'm not playing links for all these by the way um this is my orca clone it was like Eight dollars off AliExpress. It's by Arm Shark. Probably one of the worst products they've put out. Um, this is the one that exploded on me. I found the screws wrong. Um, it has at least a whole finger of play. Like this is this is relatively tight too. So, um. It, th it throws tricks, like, decently well. It's extremely handle biased, because I'm pretty sure it's just steel. Uh, but I don't recommend getting this thing. Um, yeah, okay. This is my first ever... Yeah, this is my first ever battle song. It is a Amazon cheapo. Um, it doesn't have a logo on it or anything. This was somewhere around like twelve dollars. Um, I taped the handles together so that wouldn't fall out. Um, it's. I did remove the latch at some point. Um. But this is, I mean, I can, I'm not flipping the best today. But, um, because it's, it's almost 12, I just, I mean, I got up at 10, I just got ready, I mean, ready. Um, yeah, I just, obviously, it's like, cherished to me because this is my first ever little guy but i don't re recommend this either um i got this at a fair in idaho 
and I dropped it on a on hardwood floor, not vinyl like this, but like hardwood. Um, and it uh, undid the handle, and I couldn't find it anywhere, like in the house. So yeah, that's epic. Um, there's not much to say about this one. Just don't get cheap knives. And now we're getting into. By the way, that was free for me. That's why it's at the bottom. I don't know how much it is now, but I'm just... I bought every single knife I have, so it's not like, you know. Uh, actually, except this one. But I'll explain that one later. Um, but that one did sell for free, so I bought it for a free price. This is a weird little Samurai Bell song I got at... A mall near me. Um, it's it's really hand Elias. My brother got this for me as a Christmas present, actually. I'm not gonna like overly flip this too much because I know YouTube isn't the. F it's not sharp like at all, but. Definitely kind of looks that way. Um, but yeah, it's... Um, it's something. Also, I can't take this latch off because the screw is almost immediately stripped with good screwdrivers that fit it. I use these ones. And they almost immediately stripped, so that's chill. Um, but yeah. This is... It's pretty cool. Um, it's a pretty cool, like, little thing. Like, it's fun, but it's not competitive. I do kind of like it. Here's my Squiddy B. Um, this is really, actually, a really good bell song. It feels weird and after flipping... Because all of these bell songs, believe it or not, are like kind of heavy except for the UFO and the purple, my very first one. Um, they're all kind of like really heavy. Um, but yeah, the only complaint I have with this one, it's sort of light. Uh, I can throw almost like actually any trick on here. I can. I can flip this thing pretty well. Um, I do recommend it pretty, pretty highly. Like this is my school flipper too. So. <clears throat> Here's the Nabali's Vulp that I did a review on. Got like 2,000 views or something, which is crazy. Um, it's... I mean, it's good. I know some people don't like it, um, but obviously this is what I learned on. Um, and I got this a year ago at Christmas. This was my first ever real battle song. This is where I marked my start of flipping. Cause like before that I just had them and I just did like this. Right. Um, but this is like the real, start um believe it or not the only two i had when i was doing that were these two which then didn't live very long but that's fine so yeah uh, the next thing the ballet's marbles that i did a review on um it still hasn't grown on me the most chap ones are definitely quite sticky um But yeah, uh, it does, 
it does everything pretty well and you get to change the balance so depending on what you're doing just change the balance on it and you're set it's already been 10 minutes i've barely made it through any and i'm going to talk about these ones down here a lot more so strap in get some get some water if you haven't already get a little snack or two because um it is going to be a while okay next thing um i got this on my birthday last year that's pretty sick um It, I mean, it does everything well. There's no... It just doesn't feel quality, you know? Um, Jimping's very nice on this. I think they did update these older Nevalic models that I have. I know they updated this one. Um, the Nevalis... Comment, I believe. So it had better jumping and better texture all around because it's kind of sharp. Um, and the jumping is almost non existent. And it's really smooth. Especially because it's, I think, 60 61. But. Um, Not bad. Definitely not good, but not bad. Um, but this is probably actually no, I'm saying definitely not good. This isn't. This is a Marcolo product, actually. My bad. These two are Marcolo. You can get them on Amazon. All these you can get on the Nevalis website, Squid Industries, and then these ones are kind of unavailable. AliExpress, Flatanium. Um. But a while ago, this is what I would recommend to people because you don't have to tune it. I just don't like the balance on it the most. Um, now I recommend this for people who are just starting out. Um, the next thing, this is the Yuppie Cracking uh, False Edge Claw. So, not sharp. Um, this is my beater, if you can't tell. It pinches. Um, I would be wary of that if you're gonna buy this. Um, like it pinches hard because this has not even had any work done to it at all, so it's just sharp. Um, so my style isn't the best for it with like ricochets and stuff, especially on camera. I have. If you guys seriously, if you want to see smooth clips from me, just go to the YouTube Shorts page. Oh, here's actually probably, let me see, top five, probably, somewhere like that, foul songs for me, the Squiddy Owl, coming at like $80, you can get that one on uh, Connell Song, by the way, I think that's the only place, um, oh, yeah, Squiddy Owl. Um, fish my preferences pretty well. Um, I mean, it's balanced out well, and, um, obviously mine's handle bias. You can make it neutral or blade bias by just changing the weights out. Um, I like mine the most I like this, however. Um, let me hear something crazy real quick. I got this at Blade Show West before they were doing custom tie screws, so I'm just epic like that, I guess. Um, hey, seriously, if you can get your hands on one of these, just do it. 
it's only like eighty dollars. It's probably gonna be more if you resell it. To be honest, I don't know though. Um, but yeah, recommend this one out of everything so far, the most, and more than this one too. This is the Squid Industries Mako. You can get both the Squid Owl and this. From Squid Industries website, you can also get this on Amazon. Um, it's just not good in my opinion. Like, uh, it's been my beater. It, it doesn't have any obvious beat marks just because. Uh, that's just like stuff from my floor, I think. It doesn't have any like obvious beat marks. Um, just because I don't like take it out on concrete. But. It's beyond tuning that out without a hardware replacement, and um, it doesn't do all the tricks that I want it to do how I want them to be done. So sure, the Mako is going to be good for some people, um, definitely not for me though. This is just not a value for me. Um, it's probably like a five out of ten. To be honest, everything else I think here from this point on will be higher than that. This is like nine, somewhere like that. Here is the um, clone of the Cygnus. This is WZM, so it's like roughly 100. Um, and it is true that this feels almost identical to a Cygnus. Um, Although the ones with like the the not this blade do have um a little different weight distribution. Um it's not my favorite, honestly. Also it doesn't feel as premium as an actual um Cygnus does, but that ha handle cut out like Will Hirsch said just makes it feel not balanced the best and I think that's my main complaint with this bow song and but yeah here's actually a really um good bow song the Nevali's trident um I do like this one quite a bit and I think it's only something like 120 you can get this on the Nevali's website um it fits uh, my preference is pretty well, if not being a tad too handle bias. I mean, it's not all that bad though, because it has a big cutout. It's just like, it's the same thing where like, it doesn't feel as good of balance just because there's a lot of weight here, especially with those extra screws and that the cutout ends pretty short to leave a lot of weight in there. But it doesn't directly cut out aluminum for G10. So it feels a little bit better balanced than the clone or the real Cygnus. Um, the blade also is pretty non-weighty, to be honest. It has a whole lot of holes cut out into it. And it's also like a faux, um, tin and cork. Making our way to the end of the, I feel like here's a cutoff, for like when the values are getting expensive. Maybe here because these two are, are around the same price. But I feel like this is more premium. I'll talk about that in a minute. But the glider Arctic is a valley for sure. It's thick, um, compared to all the rest of my stuff at least. Um, I recommend this. If you're starting and you want a belly that you don't have to tune and you like handle bias. If, um, it's machined extremely well, but I just don't feel like it's the fit for my flipping style where I do a lot of, uh, it's hard to explain. If you, uh, I don't know. This is like on camera. This sounds weird. This is nowhere near what my flipping style is actually like, um. And I don't know why. I think this is just like me shutting off my brain. And like 
like when I stop talking uh, and do this stuff. Ah, shoot. Anyway, that sucks, but when I do that stuff, it's more close to my flipping style, but I don't think this fits it as well as I would like it to. Definitely not a bad belly, though, and sounds great, even without being oiled for, like, a month. Oh, yeah, that's another thing. A lot of my bellies aren't oiled. Like, a substantial amount of them just do not have oil in them. Um... The ones that I flip a lot do. I don't really oil my Squiddy B though. But this has oil. That has oil. And then everything from here on should have oil. Except this has been under my pillow for like a week. So it's a little dry. Here's the Trident. Um, Triton, not Trident. Trident. Um, I think it has like the same problem as uh like with the Antarctic or Arctic as the Arctic for when I do something like a giraffe it doesn't carry the momentum the best um but that's my only complaint otherwise this is like a Mako but better so yeah I do actually recommend this thing if you want like a good squid beater i'm probably not gonna end up beating this thing for a while but i did get it to beat so it's probably going to at some point be a beater because i need to replace that stupid cracking clone because i hate it like it pinches my fingers so much um but yeah it's pretty standard i mean i like i like it it helps me hold on i'm gonna That sucked. But if I want to do like a whip aerial. Like it. I don't know why I really like ladders on it. Even though it has. Zero jumping. The ladders feel. I mean. Pretty nice. Anyway, why can't I just do, like, that weird fan transition? Oh, my God. I do also recommend this one. It's pretty good. Um, yeah. The next one, the sword fist. It's a longer belly. It, this has actually not been oiled in like two months. Um, actually, probably one month. I oiled, I oiled it like a while ago, but still it's pretty dry. Um, but I actually like it better that way. Um, but... This, I thought I liked better than the Squid Trainer for a while. Uh, but I do not think I do anymore. And it has another thing where you can customize the weights in it and everything, but... Uh, it just doesn't fit what I want for my flipping style. Next thing, Squid Trainer. I'm getting towards the end. These are the top five most expensive. This one was like 200 Um, With taxes and everything, just because I'm an idiot and I didn't put on a discount code or make an account. But that was my fault. Um, This one also hasn't been oiled in a minute because it's been under my pillow. Um, Yeah. 
I don't know why on camera I don't carry my drafts so through. Hold on. There we go. Yeah, I don't know. Because I keep wondering this. I catch. Which is weird. I promise I carry them through most of the time. This thing I got like right after my birthday. Um, probably is what kept me in the hobby. And this is like... If I had to, if I had to pick any bell song before, before here, this would be it. This is like my baby, you know. All right, here we go. Um, the final four, Machinos Prisma is a review on this most recently. Um. Pretty good. I do think uh, weight's just like a little weird, but that's that's about it. It also hasn't been oiled in like two days, so it feels a little dry. Hold on, mouth cam real quick. Ah. Was way harder than it needed to be, but yeah, that feels way better. There's some nights I can't live without oiling, so. Now, um, you might notice, I wanted to do this real quick, I almost have every single aluminum Squidnish's product besides the Nautilus. So, that's what I'm buying next, to finish off the aluminum Squidnish's line. Then I'm going to do titanium and then plastic, because I feel like plastic is going to be the hardest. But here is my EPS Knives 101, um... It is um, kind of scary, to be honest, but it's nothing that I'm not, like, not a little used to, at least. So, like, my flipping does suck on it, but no jumping for, like, a $200 price point, which is crazy. Um, but that's probably my only complaint. It flips almost perfectly in my... It's like... Imagine a Triton, but better. With a live blade. Um, it's, it's sick. Like, genuinely. Uh, pretty. It is D2, which I thought was kind of weird. D2 steel. Um, but not stainless. But I'm sure they have a reason for that. Plus, it's not like you're going to be, like, you know. I think, actually, most people use hardened, but it's not going to matter too much in the long run. The Wee Hawk is epic. Um, it is weirdly balanced, like, um, it's handled, but, like, it's almost neutral, but feels like handle. It's kind of like a bullet cracking. Here is my um, base, almost my favorite bell song. That being the Tonto Kraken, all inked. I did take out the green hardware just cause I was kind of like, I really like the all black look. So I don't know why I should put the green hardware in, but I'm gonna keep it out of this thing. Um, It's pretty good all around like I don't see 
a problem where I'm like, oh yeah, they need a, they need to do this, like, balance is great, I'm not gonna flip it that much, balance is great, um, all that stuff is all there, um, jimping is really good compared to the other versions of the Kraken, um, it holds a edge pretty well now, um, it is starting to wear out on this one, but no handle gap issues. Sounds amazing. It holds, like, I oiled this, like, two days ago, and it's still pretty oily. Um, oh, yeah. Now, my favorite, my magnum opus, my, whatever you want to call it, the Squinish Tsunami. Um, there was one complaint I had with it, but I fixed it, um, and that was... Um, this by handle screw kept on getting loose, um, which kind of sucked, but I just Teflon taped it. It's all good now. I, um, it does kind of have toothpick handles to be fair. Um, but if you just get used to it, it doesn't bother you. At least it doesn't bother me that much. Um, it was like $500. Um. And this was my most expensive purchase at Blade Show. Um, next Blade Show, Gus is getting a live Nami. Yeah, me. I'm getting hopefully a DLC all black. Now. That would be cool. I don't know. And then also going to Blade Comp and doing that, hopefully with the Nami. Um, or my Kraken, actually. I might bring my Kraken. Imagine if I, do you think they would love me like a CCC or something? Anyway, this is the last, the last of them. Um, I'm going to make a review on this shortly. But just know, like, it is extremely good. And if you can get either this or the Live Blade one, because both of them are really good. So, it is a little short, like, uh, compared to what I was thinking. And I know people have said that, but it's just the roundness makes it feel just a tad shorter. Um, balance is perfect for me. I really love, um, so is weight. I really love the light sub four ounces, um, you know, just barely sub four ounce, um, 3.9, even just 4 ounces on the dot. Um, oh, that's great. I mean, I also like, as long as it's balanced well, like I liked the Madco, and I think it was balanced, I mean, pretty decently. I like how my flipping style just changed as soon as I grabbed this. Like, I don't... This also isn't my flipping style, by the way. I don't know. This is like me if I was like an intermediate flipper, but um yeah. I I mean I will just gush about this thing all day, so I'm just gonna make a server review on it. But <laughs> highly recommend the tsunami if you can get it. And this video has been like thirty minutes. So I think it's my time to just get that all. I do think I have a pretty odd balance on collection. Like, I have anywhere from stupid knives to, like, weird, like, weird stuff. I think that is a weird stuff. And maybe, I think even the, the Arctic is kind of weird. But, um... Stay hydrated. Yeah, there's my balisong collection. Yeah. Um, if you want to, you can leave a comment, whatever. Um, well, I'll see you guys. Um, I'll see you guys later. I have to put all these away now.